Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So let's dive into the LUNC and USTC price kind of analysis here. Let's discuss the different ins and outs. Let's discuss what you're all currently thinking. I know you're thinking about this, but as much as you think it's, don't, it's not going to happen, there are a lot of you do know this is going to happen now though, because you watch the content, which I love. But there are some people that feel this is not going to happen. And honestly, they could be right when it comes down to the proposal side of things because it's all decided by governance. Now we've got a very, very tight vote going on. The reason why I'm saying this is because as it always does on this chain, it boils down to all nodes voting yes, voting no, or abstaining. Ultimately, they're going to have the final say on these USTC coins burning. Historically, and I think you'll all like this, is they have voted to burn these coins. So the likelihood is they are going to vote yes. The only thing that worries me at the moment is their recent vote on pay per job. And uh, this is just my own perspective. It doesn't mean anything whatsoever. It's just obviously they they voted no to that, um, which I think makes pay per job redundant. We'll need to do a video on it just to kind of touch base and go over and see where the chain sits with everything. I think that would be good. But anyway, the again, well on a side tandem here. You can tell it's the weekend. It's been, it's been a long weekend for me so far. I've just finished work. But the the funds, it's all nodes are really going to decide this. That's what it's going to come down to bite to crunch. I personally think they're going to vote yes to get rid of these funds, but we'll have to wait and see. So let's talk about price. Let's talk about all of the different factors that are playing into this. Let's take a look at the LUNC price chart first. Now, what we can see is we've had a drop out of this uh, rising wedge pattern coming off of this uh, very nice pole uh, coming into a flag. We've seen the drop down, the breakdown here. We formed another wedge and it looks like we have broken out. The reason why I'm saying this is we're getting a lot of dollar cost average signals. And if you're wondering what these um, indicators are on my screen, they are the indicator that a lot of us are using. Links to it in the description. It's really good. I've been using it to trade. And once again, this is telling me it's a very, very good time uh, to grab uh, more if I'm not involved already, if I'm swing trading, so to speak. And if you are swing trading between using this indicator, you're looking at Say you throw in a thousand bucks, you're looking at 270 bucks on this swing. It's it's pretty nice. And then once again, I'm just going to be chasing this. I'm going to be looking to see what the indicator is telling me. And it looks like we're going to be moving upwards. The thing that's stuck in the back of my mind, it's an argument I'm going through internally, is the thought of has this all been priced into the market? Because the supply was changed a long time ago. Uh, we've been through a lot of back and forths where you've paid um, different people for different services that weren't provided. Let's leave it as that, as to not upset people too much. But the the opportunity to burn these coins has been robbed from you many times. And that's to put it in a very simple form that you can best understand, because honestly, it is. There's been so many of these fake attempts to sort of get rid of these coins. You've been promised all different things and it never transpired until now. So I think the energy has been robbed alongside the opportunity, the energy, the momentum. So there's a very pessimistic view. But with the market looking as interesting as it is at the moment, BTC sort of like coasting sideways, going up, going down. I think people are going to be looking for opportunities. And around the time this burn happens, the market gets going with a new week. So a lot of people are going to be looking at the news. And what we're hoping is to see different articles saying that these coins are either going to be burnt or they have been burned. And what we're looking for is a after reaction because we're not realistically seeing a buy the rumor, sell the news situation playing out. It's almost end of play Saturday here, rolling on to Sunday. You've got less than 48, I would say, hours by the time this video comes out until these coins burn. So we should we should have seen a very, very big build up if people believe these coins are going to burn. Now, here's the USTC chart. Once again, I've got the indicator of that. I use it to trade on absolutely everything. I think the amazing thing is you can set alerts with um, this. So you can literally have the alerts get sent through to your phone so you can make instant trades off of the indicators if that is what you're doing. So if we're looking back at this swing down here, it's telling you to jump in here and say you hold it off. You're using the bullish momentum indicator alongside this, which is part of the uh, the deal. You would look at 50%. That's almost 
half of doubling your investment. For me, that's really good. So what we're seeing once again is a lot of these dollar cost average signals coming in. We're not seeing ones to get back out yet. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm currently day trading USDC, so to speak. It's only a thousand bucks. I started with a thousand bucks and I'm going to work my way up through this trade and I'll move on to something else. But this indicator is such a good way to see what's going on. Because if you just look at the chart on trade, uh, sorry, on coin market cap, it's very confusing. You don't realistically know when to get in, when to get out, if there's good momentum, if this candle is going to be a death candle, it's going to send us down really low. And a lot of the times you'll see very strong blips where you move down and all of a sudden that's the dip before the rip. And with this indicator, I just don't find that problem. So what do I think is realistically going to happen with this? What I think is we're going to see some kind of positive reaction, but it's all going to come down to the day. Because of the pessimism, they're not going to believe it until they see the total supply change to 800 million less, until they see the proof of the contract doing what it's supposed to do. The other thing I would say that's not actually helping this is all of the different validators like Interstellar Lounge that are very negative on this. They're saying that if we can do this, then you can go in and you can do the same to wallets. And it's a contract. It's not a wallet. It's a totally different thing. It has a totally different use case. And the reason why you're able to do this, like Frag explained, is because it's built into the system. It's a concept that's there and it needs to be there in order for NFT projects to work, for all kinds of different things, for holding rewards in contracts, for staking, auto compound modules. It's all there for a reason wallets are not there for you to do the same thing to for a specific reason and the chain's been developed in that manner so I don't see the risk that Intercellar Lounge does but obviously this is all based on personal opinions and stuff like that it's going to be a very very tight vote in my opinion I think with everything that's going on at the moment regardless we're looking good. It's looking positive. We've got different smaller issues going on. Yes, we've got people double noting. Yes, we've got all of these different things going on. But ultimately, I hope that the trajectory is going to push us on upwards. Guys, if you're not getting involved in the giveaway here, get involved in the giveaway. If you're interested in that trading indicator that I've been talking about, links to it are in the description. Go through our links. It's 20% less at the moment for life if you sign up now. So that's 20% less for life. If you've got LUNC, you can delegate with our node via station or trust wallet. We've got updated guides and tutorials for you in our playlist section. If you're looking to join a Patreon group where you can get access to alpha coin drops, updates, and things to get involved with. Links to that in the description as well. We've got Margex sign-up links if you're trading over there, and we've got BitGet links as well if you're looking to trade over there. Remember what I said about CEXs as we move into the bull run, folks. You just don't know what's around the corner. Get access to as many as you can now. If you've seen the news about Nigeria, I know it doesn't really affect a lot of people, but even they've seen different, I think KuCoin's been removed from Nigerian users and different CEXs like that. So trade safe, Leave all of your options open and decentralize and securitize everything moving forward. Guys, stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Shoo!